All right, today in this 2014 Honda CRV, we're going to install part number RM-9332. This is a 12 volt outlet kit rated for 20 amps. All right, now outlet kit is designed to work with the fuse panel. In this case, we're going to use a fuse that's underneath the dash. If your vehicle set up to be pulled behind an RV, we'll go ahead and look for a fuse. Now, in this case, our key will be in the first notch when you turn it. So we'll go ahead and use a fuse. In this case, we're going to test fuse number 14, which is easy to get to. And it's just receipt heaters. We'll make sure it has power as if the vehicle is being towed behind a motorhome. Okay, so we know that's got power. Now we'll go ahead and pull our fuse. And then we're going to check to see which so side of a socket actually has power. Okay, so it's the top half. So the top half for, for a socket has power. So we're gonna add a fuse tap to it so we can draw power off that side only. Now, if you take a look, the fuse tap isn't really designed to work with this style fuse. But if you use a regular um, mini fuse, it'll work in the same spot. It just won't sit in all the way. So we'll go ahead and replace that with a regular 20 amp mini fuse. So we'll just slide this over the end of one of the legs of the fuse, slide it down until it snaps over the top. Now this is a tight fit. There. Okay, snap it over the top of the fuse. We'll make sure that this part goes to the top of the socket. Okay, that's definitely a tight fit. We use some needle nose pliers to get a good grip, work it around until that brass part went in. We'll give it a quick test. Okay, we're good. Now back to our outlet. This part with the spade terminal will fit right over top of that. Okay, now our wire with the ring terminal will simply be grounded to the metal underneath the dash. Okay, this is a sheet metal screw we're using. It uses a 5 16 bit. So we're going to attach to the sheet metal right behind the parking brake. Let's go ahead and run it in first and then add our wire to it. Alright, I'm going to double check my work here. I'm just going to take my tester and hit the terminal right at the bottom. Make sure you don't touch the sides because I'll be ground and I'll blow the fuse. Okay, it looks like it works. We'll go ahead and bundle up our excess wire and then find a good location to hide this underneath the dash. What we're going to do is actually zip tie our wire up to the plastic here and we'll have an outlet hanging out just far enough where we'll tuck in behind the plastic. And when we need to use it for a supplemental braking system, we can just pull it out and plug into it. And it won't be in the way when it's not being used. And we'll just bundle up the rest of our wire harness. Probably tuck it behind the carpet a little bit and behind the panel. Okay, and with that, they'll finish it for our install of a 12 volt outlet kit from Roadmaster, part number RM 9332, on our 2014 Honda CRV.